Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. We had a few showers very early this morning across northern and central New Mexico, including Albuquerque. Things have dried out for the afternoon, but we'll watch for more thunderstorms to develop up in the northern mountains. The Gila, Sacramento Mountains may see a few showers and storms as well. It's, you can feel the humidity in the air. So we have that, and temperatures warming up too, especially down the southeast and the east. We're looking at highs in the upper 90s today. Showers and storms will continue to favor the mountains for this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night. Cold front's going to come through. That'll bring in better chances for some showers. And storms across central and eastern New Mexico overnight tomorrow and through the day on Wednesday. Your seven day forecast for Albuquerque temperatures above average all week, low 90s today, mid 90s for the rest of the week. A person of interest has been identified in a possible DWI crash that killed a 30 year old Roswell woman and her four year old son. The crash happened yesterday before sunrise on southeast Maine in Brasher. Police say 30 year old Mandy Miranda and her two kids, four year old Joe and six year old Mariah, were inside their Hyundai Sonata when a white Escalade pummeled into them from behind. Police say that driver flipped the Escalade, then ran away on foot. Miranda and her son were pronounced dead at the scene. Her daughter was treated at a local hospital and released to family members. Now police are searching for this man, 21-year-old Joel Cordova Lopez. Police are not saying if they believe Lopez was the actual driver during the crash, just that he may have been in the vehicle. They believe he is in Roswell, Artesia, or Dexter. Allegations that a 911 call was ignored have become a separate issue in a weekend homicide in Chimayo. 24-year-old Juanito Martinez of Española was found shot to death in front of a yard on County Road 91. According to a Rio Arriba County Sheriff's official, a resident did call 911 around 2.30 yesterday morning after hearing gunshots. The sheriff's office says for some reason state police did not respond. Another phone call to 911 came hours later after another resident discovered the victim's body. Sheriff's investigators responded that time. State police officials say they can't comment about the 911 issue at this point, but they are investigating it internally. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day on this Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.